So second day here in Oman. We are just about to test the car, so we got a full of fuel, all the levels checked. Seems to be running nice. Yeah, just gonna do some pulls uh, with a different climate here. Make sure it's uh, running as it should. And later on today, we're just setting up our pits, getting ready for practice and qualifying tomorrow. So let's see how she runs. Testing his GR86, Benedictus Cheriba, and the Eurofighter, Clint and the S14. <laughs> Let's see you uh, take off. <laughs> here at the official OADC press conference, so the opening of the event. This place is absolutely amazing. It's like a dream workshop. So we're in like a really, what I describe as a, a big hangar. Got the car here. We're gonna be doing a press conference here shortly. Got Ahmed Daham's new S13, 180SX, Knickknacks, E36, Chirva's E92, They've got catering. I think there's gonna be quite a lot of people here, but look, check this out, how cool it is outside. Got some sims upstairs. Do some practice. Yeah, it's amazing, the development here in Oman at this facility since I was last year back in 2020. How are you, man? Looks amazing. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. Then outside we got another few of the competition cars. Look at this. Absolutely awesome. Hey, How are you? You good? Good, buddy. So the ham second car, S14, Drift Brothers E92, Corvette. Uh, we got GR86 and two more S chassis. It's like a hangar with containers coming out of it. It's called the yard. Very impressive and uh, very cool way to kick off our season here in the Middle East. Uh, we have qualifying tomorrow, so very, very excited about that. Got people about to start playing music. Yeah, this is this is pretty special. I love it. Good morning from Oman. Our 2024 season starts today. First round of the Oman International Drift Championship. So today we have practice and qualifying. Car is uh, ready to go. Everyone's lining up for practice. Uh, we're gonna start a little bit later in practice because there's a lot of practice time today. There's a lot of sand down on the track, so we'll just uh, wait till the surface starts to come good and uh, get out there on track. But I'm excited. Car seems to be running nice uh, from the quick test we did yesterday. And uh, yeah, starting practice with some white strums in the rear, black in the front, ready for a good time.
complete very happy with it in general uh, it's a tricky track even though it looks simple it's very very deceiving at certain points to see the track edge because it's all like a, it's a big open lot all painted on the edge and as drivers are dropping wheels over the edge some of the lines are starting to disappear so you can easily make a mistake because of visibility uh, we're going out for qualifying now um, I'll be the last car to qualify and it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun it's gonna be interesting um, let's see how it goes but for practice I'm happy first competition run of the year so fingers crossed Ireland a 94.3 in his first run what can he do to improve on that throws it in on huge angle does James putting the back wheel right on that outer line that s14.9 looking absolutely amazing in his new livery so we see James now smoking the old man international drift arena out of it here as he comes through out to the wall brings the back of that car right to the wall pinpoint accuracy on the transition and also full throttle no lift whatsoever the commitment that takes and the skill but we would not expect anything yeah, yeah. Woo. so just finished qualifying uh we wrapped up the second run with what what was the score 96.7 points uh, first run was nice, I got 94.3 and uh, just sent it in a bit harder in the second run. Uh, a couple of more small mistakes but you make more small mistakes when you're being more aggressive. Uh, it felt really fun from the inside, really big angle, like on the entry it was lock stops, full throttle and uh, nice transitions, rubbed the wall, big angle, uh, yeah just the way we want to drive. So, Leading the pack going into tomorrow, into tandem. Great way to start our first competition this year. So, hope you're enjoying. Thank you all for the support. Fingers crossed for tomorrow. Game day. Practice has been going really good. We had a run with Nick Knack and a run with Ali Maxeed, last year's OIDC champion. And uh, we're having a blast. Car is working so good. So good. We got great speed out there on track. And uh, I'm absolutely delighted, so keep on pushing it and uh, see how we get on in tandem. Some tough battles coming up tonight, but uh, so far practice is great. We got a special visitor. Hello. Good morning, Becky. Good morning. Becky, Becky came from Boston, Connecticut, England for a day, and then over here. I know, I, I don't really know what time it is, my hair's been crazy, but we're it's fine. Like 12 hours behind in your head. It should be, it's midnight for Becky right now, and it's... I need a really loud V8 just to wake me up, yeah. bring me into yeah. the next time zone. You look, well, you're looking good out there. Yeah, so far so good. Very good. Thank you. So uh, we'll finish up practice, and then straight into tandem. <laughs> Babagoosh is going to do against James Dean as we see James tearing down the straight, throwing it in. 
Nice and wide. And Robert is right there with him. Maybe not as deep in the first zone as the judges would like to see. But he is not getting left behind. Making a huge dive on the machine, James Dean. But James is starting to put foot to floor now. Scraping a small bit of the gap as they come up to the wall. James bringing that S14.9 right out to the wall. Carrying huge angle on that transition. They nearly caught Robert as well. As we see them come around up to the wall. Away they go. Second half of this first battle. Oh, Robert clipping some cones there. Three cones down. James Dean's tucking in nice behind him. So we see Robert running a bit wide. Doing very well not to hit the wall. And James doing very well with the overtake not to hit Robert. This lap just getting all wrong from the start there. Maybe Robert just a small bit eager knowing he had a mountain to climb while battling James Dean. So he threw absolutely everything at it. But look at James doing the second lead line here. Absolutely flawless again. Nearly a mirror of the first half of this battle. So, yeah, I can nearly make a bold prediction on who got this. <laughs> watching TikTok while we're competing. I was, I watched That's you. A, no, you, yeah, yeah, you, you watch me drive, but now it's back to TikTok. Oh, but look at the monkeys. <laughs> Let's give them an update. How's the day going? Okay, day is going really good. Shouldn't, shouldn't you be asking me? Okay, I'll interview. Okay, so first top 32 of the season. That was an interesting battle. The, uh, the lead line was lovely. And then oh, it was some Japanese guys. <laughs> I have never seen him do that before. Tell us what happened. Yeah, so in our top 32 run, uh, everyone is fast here and everyone is like taking chances on the first corner. So I was leading first, did a good lead. He had a good chase on me, it's solid. Um, he, he was pushing hard and he had very good speed. And then when he was leading, he went down into the first corner really fast, washed wide. And as soon as he had four wheels off, I knew the gap was open. So I just went for the pass on the outside line because I was filling the zone in the chase. And uh, basically then, as soon as I was past him, I saw him out the corner of my eye making a dive at my car to try to pass me again. And I was like, oh my God, this is gonna be a big, big crash. And I kind of just wavered the car to the right to buy myself some room and he just missed me. So I dropped a tire because of that, uh, transitioned back and just completed the lead run and he was diving on me. So I think a bit of red mist like, uh, we're all guilty of sometimes. It, you rarely see passes on an outside clip I've though. I've never seen you do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's usually inside ones. Like that's, I love passing when someone washes wide on an inside, but it doesn't usually happen. But um, he had enough runoff to get away with it. And yeah, we just went for it. So in the top 16, up against uh, one of Driftmaster's top drivers, Benedict Vestirva, uh, and uh, in his Eurofighter 2JZ E92. I know how capable these cars are, he's a great driver, it's going to be a tough battle, but uh, so far we've been doing really well, I just need to make sure my chase game is on point, fingers crossed. And away we go. Our top 16 is underway. And this is it. James Dean Benedictus Cherba throwing it in. Look at this from the machine. Lovely initiation. But Cherba is right there with him. Sticking on the side of that S14.9 as the transition for the first time through the inner clip. James Dean's on a lovely lead line. But look at Cherba. He's right there with him saying, James, you are not getting away from me. As they transition now for the last time. Heading up to our zone too. A little bit of proximity in James's favour. James taking that last transition. Full tilt.
against Dean versus Nazar or Harbali. Both guys coming down like a bow of hell as James throws it in a massive angle. James Dean knows how fast Nazar is, so he has to put foot to floor to try to get away from him. Nazar is doing absolutely anything he can to stick with the machine as they transition for the first time, lining up for our zone two. James doing a lovely job now. Hugging that outer line all the way around, flicking out to the wall, full tilt transition. But Nazar is right there with him as they come through the last corner, filling the last outer zone, and James brings it out to the wall and over the line. Okay, lights go green, and away they go. Nazar lead, James Dean to chase. Poor car's coming down. Look at this. Bangs coming out of the bottom of Nazar's car. It nearly did a bunny hop, he banged that much. Nazar though going wide, dropping a wheel. The machine doing very well to just sit there, wait for him to come back on. Now make his dive, start to reel them in as they come through. There's the fire igniting again. I don't know if this is cool or on fire, but Nazar is not letting up. Look at the size of the flames out the back of this. James Dean's that close. He's going to melt his own car. Destroying his new wrap as they come around the corner for the last time. That 180 SX is fully on fire. Oh my, what? What? That was absolutely insane, but someone get a fire extinguisher quick because that one's not going out. Oh my God, how did James Dean stay so close? on the track two thumbs up to the start line marshall the lights go green and away they go james to lead clint to chase clint knows james is fast so he's going to have to commit right from the start look at the angle from james but look at clint throwing it absolutely backwards sticking it on that s14.9 of james dean as they transition now oh, clint makes a dive through the smoke james putting foot to floor trying to get some sort of proximity which he does clint has to cut the track a small bit there now but james is pulling a bit of a gap as we see james transition for the last time out wide clint unfortunately not having an answer for james dean as they come over the finish Same thing and catch it at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong way. 
on the way. Oh. There you go. Got it on the 96 try. Hey, Finn. How's the blood sugar levels? How's the oxygen levels? How are. It's pretty okay. It's okay. We're into the final, so I'm trying to relax. Like every time I'm out of the car, I'm trying to preserve every last ounce of energy. Yeah. And not really think about anything. These and then days get... are long now, like, what, like it's like a 12 hour day. Easy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a long day at the office, but very happy to be in the finals. No. So it's let's hope we can carry it now. Yeah. That'll be brilliant. You got it. I'll try. This is gonna be insane. James Dean the lead, you are written in the chase. Here we go, the final. Watch both cars coming, tear down the street. Maximum angle from the two of them. You are right there with James. James on a perfect lead line. I don't know how the judges are going to separate them. Oh, you are catching the cone on the inside there, maybe dropping one wheel. James getting a small bit of proximity, but you had tucking right back in there. We can't even see them come up to the wall because of the smoke in her previous run through. James Dean now on a perfect lead line, but you are renting it. He's still there. Fresh off the podium, perfect event, clean sweep. Do you know what? It was really, really good, and the battles were really good. It was just like yeah, the competition level here is high. Like a number of drift masters drivers are here, as I said earlier, mm. and the locals have really stepped it up. Yeah, do you know what? They their like level of precision has come up so much. The cars are so much yeah. faster, and like just everybody's professionalism has come up like so much as well. Yeah, like, yeah. There was like not anything mental happened. Not like, really, I mean, well, apart from like, fires you know, yeah, and so, passes so, and, that, so. <laughs> yeah, but no, the car is perfect. Um, I, to be honest, let me, let me just look at the rubber. Like, this is just from one weekend and this is only one of the zones. Like there was some of the zones, uh, as the competition was going on, the grip was starting to really change because there's just different layers of rubber and it's like you're it's like you're hitting like wet paint or something it's tricky to drive first win of the year first win i didn't get any win last year which was the first time in quite a while and uh it's just really nice to have that monkey off my back um at the start of the season it kind of takes a bit of personal pressure off myself um i really wanted to win today and we managed to do it and uh, to win qualifying as well i felt i felt really strong i felt really in control um, doing what we needed to do and running big angle, uh, great proximity and overall just I was sweet. Doing, I was doing a no, thank you all very much and uh, we'll see you On the next, next weekend. Thank Bye. you. Woo.